Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect, starting with the Tabernacle of David, all right, the 144,000, as well as the large multitude, the rest of the men, women, and children, whom the Lord will have mercy on all right, at the time of his second coming. And uh, I wanted to do a uh, response to a question posed on a comment board um, uh, by uh, a brother here, the Physicians 144K. Um, and the uh, question uh, being posed, as you can see here, is Shalom Elder. Someone came to me and said that the Most High is powerful enough to create new spirits like he did before. All right. And after that, I really didn't have a response. All right. How would I edify that person? Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom. All right. And um, this is uh, on a video um, titled, you know, response to the worst doctrine of all time, martyrs of Yahweh Shai, who ultimately speak against reincarnation. They speak against uh, those uh, wicked of our people who who die on this side, you know, being brought back into the kingdom of heaven. Um, they say it's the worst doctrine of all time, although it's all embedded in the Holy Scriptures, you know, um, now uh, dealing with this question. All right. Someone came to him and said that the most high is powerful enough to create new spirits like he did before. And we absolutely agree. All right. The most high is even powerful enough to if he wanted. All right. To have who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ to be born you know uh through an angel all right um to come through mary all right but ultimately that's not how the scripture said it would be done you see we're not saying that the the heavenly father is not capable of doing particular things okay we're just saying these are this is the way um that the holy scriptures all right prescribe things the order of spirits all right it's in the holy scriptures now you know, even what, you know, you know, um, how the earth is going to be restored. The Heavenly Father has the power all right, to ultimately at the blink of an eye, turn the earth into paradise. But he's going to use his people under who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the second Adam. All right. Um, to implement the law, statutes and commandments on the earth. And that process. All right. Will be what cleans the earth up. All right. The laws being implemented in the earth. All right. Now, um, here is my response. All right. It says, uh, you know, he sure is powerful enough to do such. We agree. But the scriptures tell you when one dies, the spirit returns unto the Lord who gave it. And then it eventually returns unto the earth. Now, um, scripture is a basic scripture we always use. All right. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit returns unto Yahweh who gave it, okay, as we just talked about, all right? The dust returns to the earth when one passes away, okay? And the spirit returns unto the Most High, okay? And that spirit eventually returns to the earth. Now, this is uh, Psalms 104 and 29, all right? It says, Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath and they die. And return to their dust. All right. Verse 30. Thou sendest forth thy spirit. Because what happens when the spirit returns unto the heavenly father? When, when a person dies, the spirit returns to the heavenly father. All right. But then it says, Thou sendest forth thy, thy spirit, and they are created. And thou renewest the face of the earth. What? Through a newborn baby. All right. Now, the process is about, you know, three to four generations you know when that spirit returns but nonetheless that spirit does return that spirit is not destroyed it goes back to the father okay now the the argument is well the heavenly father can create new spirits all right um and i was also watching this video because i want to make a point because we're going to show you um that not only does the scripture speak on reincarnation and affirm it all right. But the scriptures also tell you those who deny it. 
okay, are uh, they have an ungodly mindset, all right? And we'll show you that in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. But to make a quick point uh, here, I want to go um, here to the book of, uh, as a matter of fact, let me pull it up real quick, having a little issues with my internet. Now here in, um, this is not the point I wanted to make, but I'll go ahead and make it. Uh, this is Matthew 16 and 13. All right, this is the Messiah um, asking his disciples, who do men say that he is? All right, when Yahweh came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I am, that I the son of man am? All right, and they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, who had, you know, been, you know, ultimately put to death by Herod. His head was chopped off. Okay. Some say Elijah. All right. Others say, uh, or, or Elijah, or others say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Okay. Now, at this point, why did not the Messiah correct them? All right. As he was perfect in the law. All right. It was no gal found in his mouth. Why would he allow them to say this without checking them? All right. Because it was a, it was very well known that the prophets. All right. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right. Who were chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right. Will be raised back up in different dispensations of time. Now, the scriptures tell us that Elijah. OK. In the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter. Scriptures tell us that the Lord will raise up Elijah the prophet. Okay, now who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ? He was not Elijah the prophet. He was not Jeremiah. Okay, he was not any of the other prophets, but he was the one spoken of. Okay, to come. All right, through the loins and lineage of David, to be a sacrifice for the nation of Israel. All right, the son of the Most High God, as it was prophesied through Nathan, all right, from the most high through Nathan to David, all right, uh, I will be his father and he will be my son, the one that will come from his loins eventually to be a savior unto the nation of Israel, to bring them back to the heavenly father. Now, this is the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter, all right, and it says, behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Now, how would the Lord send Elijah the prophet? Right. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. All right. So Elijah, the prophet came and, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ told you, if you can receive it, this is Elijah when he came onto the scene. All right. As a matter of fact. All right. This is Matthew uh, 17 and 10. And the disciples, his disciples asked him, saying, why then say to the scribes that Elijah must first come? <laughs> All right. They were trying to figure things out. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. All right. But I say unto you that Elijah is come already and they knew him not. All right, but have done unto him whatsoever they uh, listed. Likewise, so also the son of man suffer. He's going to suffer uh, ultimately uh, um, of the hands of his own people and of the Romans. But there you go. All right. Elijah did come and he came as John the Baptist. As we get Matthew 11 and 14, what did he tell his disciples and the people? And if ye will receive it, this is Elijah which was for to come showing you that they understood all right uh, reincarnation was a very well understood all right and all it means is uh re again incarnation is flesh you're back in the flesh but it's your spirit that is back in the flesh now to make a quick point i wanted to uh attack because i was watching this video um done by the uh, elder brother Micah Allah martyrs of yahweh tried to debunk reincarnation it's a good video make sure you subscribe to his page gms encouragement 144 and uh, in this video he was going into some of the arguments that these um, martyrs of yahweh used to de debunk reincarnation and um 
it's funny, you know, they say that the Heavenly Father, because we always use this scripture in Matthew, the 19th chapter. Okay. And we're going to get to the point, uh, Matthew, the 19th chapter, and it's going to all tie into this brother's question. But um, Matthew 19 and 27, you know, where Peter asked Yahushai, all right, uh, verse 27, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? All right. And Yahushai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that we that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. So we use this to let you know that the very disciples that followed Yahushai, all right, which they were chosen before the foundation of the earth for that purpose, all right, those very spirits will rule under Yahushai in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Now, um, what they're saying is because we always pose the question, so does this mean that they're going to be, all right, uh, 2,000 years old when the kingdom is set up? You know, there'll be old men. No, they'll be returned in new bodies. Okay. And ultimately, the spirits will receive of the kingdom of heaven. All right. But in new bodies. All right. Glorified bodies. All right. And the scriptures talks about that in Revelation, the 18th chapter. Okay, in Revelation, the 18th chapter. Okay. In 20, re rejoice over her, thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets, because God have avenged you on her. Speaking of the destruction of Babylon. Now, when you get Revelation, the 21st chapter, and it describes the tabernacle of David, as the scriptures say, the tabernacle of God is with men under directly under Yahushai. All right. New Jerusalem. Okay. You know, coming down from heaven. Okay. It, it talks about how at the gates it has the names written of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. But right here in Revelation 21 and 14, the wall of the city had 12 foundations and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb because they are going to rule. All right. And be at the forefront. All right. Directly under Yahushai of the throne and tabernacle of David. And as you read down, it talks about the 144. All right. So, yes, the 12 apostles of the Lamb, the direct ones who followed him, will return in new bodies. All right. As some of them are here preaching now. All right. But when Yahushai returns, all right, those who uh, will be raised up first, okay, will be raised up. All right. And those who are on the earth will be beamed up. All right. To, uh, you know, glorify Yahushai in the air. And we'll be all linked up, every man in his own order, as the scripture said. Now, the question is, will these be new spirits? Now, yes, the Heavenly Father can create a new spirit, but no, the Heavenly Father tells you, as a matter of fact, <laughs> let's uh, see which way I want to attack this. Let's get a uh, let's get Ephesians, the uh, first chapter to find out when the elect were chosen. OK. This is uh, Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. OK. So the elect, those souls were chosen from the foundation of the world for a particular purpose. And those spirits would come onto the earth in different, all right, incarnations and serve their purpose. Now, for years and years and years, the prophets have been rejected, hated. Okay. But ultimately, we're living in a time where a reward is coming to those servants and prophets. All right. But they were predestinated. All right. From the foundation of the earth. All right. Unto uh, predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Now, how was that? All right. Because Yahweh Shai was slain on the cross. All right. Which ultimately that redeemed us back to the father. That was our sacrifice. OK, so the question is. Were those spirits chosen 
uh, 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 when he did that on the earth or was it before the foundation of the earth? Well, right here, using uh, Martyr of Yahweh is one of their uh, main points dealing with the book of life. This is Revelation 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, Esau, whose names are not written in the book of the life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All right. So the lamb. All right. The story was already written. What would happen and how he would be slain to redeem. All right. The Israelites back to the heavenly father, starting with the elect. All right. That was already written from the foundation of the world. All right. So when the heavenly father raises up prophets, he, it, it, he doesn't create a new spirit. And let's prove it. Let's get a. Uh, Let's get the book of Sirach, the 36th chapter, all right? And there's various other points, but I'm just going to, you know, um, make it a, as simple as possible. One of my favorite scriptures, in Sirach, the 36th chapter, okay? I start at 14, all right? Because ultimately, I start at uh, 11. It says, gather all the tribes of Jacob together. And inherit thou them as from the beginning. All right. Now, how was Israel chosen from the beginning as spirits? All right. Spiritual family before we were a physical family. All right. And this is how the heavenly father tracks all nations. You see, because he chose them from the foundation of earth to be what they were going to be when they came on the earth. And you can get that in Sirach, the 24th chapter, the only nation who he gained his uh, 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 Holy Spirit were the Israelites, okay? And that's the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? Who under Yahawashai would be sacrifices as well, okay? So gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as at the beginning, all right? It says, O Lord, have mercy upon uh, the people that is called by thy name and upon Israel whom I have named thy firstborn. When were we firstborn? in the heavens all right now when you go down verse 14 fill Sion with thine unspeakable oracles okay and thy people with thy glory now here's the point give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name so the very spirits that are going to be raised up as prophets are spirits that were already chosen from the beginning and justified, all right, through Yahweh Shai's blood before there was even an earth, this was already written. So it's not going to be new spirits that are chosen at the time that the Heavenly Father destroys this place to say, all right, you're going to be of the elect, you're going to be this disciple, you're going to be that disciple, you're going to be that disciple. No, these, these spirits were already chosen. You see that this is how we know you men don't have a full understanding of the scriptures and then you go out and you learn from the apostles and elders and the brothers who are under them and then you get to a point where you feel like you've learned enough and then you go and establish your own doctrine okay uh, 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 and buck up against those who you learn from and you make a fool of your damn self all right and let's read this again give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning all right. So is he going to create brand new spirits? Because remember, we, we have to understand that there is a reward coming to the elect, coming to the apostles and the prophets and those who he chose to go out and preach his word. OK, but 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 as we just read in Matthew, the 19th chapter, there, those who followed him directly are going to sit on 12 thrones and judge the 12 tribes of Israel. Are there going to be brand new spirits? No, they're going to be the spirits that were chosen from the beginning and came into the earth in different dispensations of times. Right here, the prophets that are going to be raised up are those who were possessed from the beginning. OK, reward them that found uh, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. All right. And let's go to Revelation, the 11th chapter and get a point out of here. Revelation 11 and 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath has come in the time of the dead that they should be judged and thou shouldest give reward unto thy service to prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them all right which destroy the earth all right because as we just read 
the prophets are going to rejoice. All right. The apostles and prophets are going to rejoice when Babylon the Great is destroyed because a lot of them are here. You see, and they're going to get their reward starting with those who are already beamed up. All right. And then the, those who are on the earth. All right. Are going to be caught up into that very cloud with those who are already raised up and everyone will be placed in their order. According to first um, Corinthians, the 15th chapter. All right. So the spirits that are written in the book of life were, were already chosen before the foundation of the earth. Yahweh Shai's blood and who it was shed for and him going through all of that. That was written before the foundation of the earth. OK, <laughs> this is a. Uh, First Corinthians 15. OK, and 22 for as an Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach. All right. Shall all be made alive, but every man in his own order. Hamashiach, the first fruits. OK, afterward, they that are Hamashiach that is coming. All right. And as we just read. OK. OK. Every man in his own order. All right. And it says, ultimately, that uh, the wrath has come in the, in the time of the dead should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. OK. And to the saints and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. OK. So the servants, the prophets that were chosen from the foundation of the earth. All right. Will be rewarded. In their order, as well as those who fear thy name, small and great. All right. And this body is known as the remnant. OK, these spirits are not going to be recreated or, or created at the time that it's time to give them a reward. No, these spirits have already been. OK, and they're going to be raised up and blessed. OK, in these last days. All right. Now you have some that are on the earth preaching. OK, and fearing the Lord, listening to the prophets, you have those who are not on the earth. All right. Thessalonians was it first Thessalonians four. Let me get it here. <clears throat> me one second. Yes. Yeah, so you guys are off. All right. You act like those who are written in the book of life. The Lord don't know what spirits those are until like the, the book got to be written when the destruction. No, the book is already written. OK. Um, oh, first Thessalonians four. And the first fruits are the elect. All right. Starting with the one forty four. Um, first Thessalonians 4 and 13 but I would have you I would not have you be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep meaning who died and their spirits returned to the spirit world because all of the spirits including the wicked spirits of of the Israelites they return to the father and you can get a uh, sense of that all you have to type in is slept with their fathers okay So David slept with his fathers. OK, Solomon slept with his fathers. The spirit returns unto the father who gave it. Jeroboam, when he died, slept with his fathers. What does that mean? The spirit returned to the father. All right. Both righteous and wicked spirits return unto the father. All right. And Job describes the spirit world that people who once ruled on the earth and died are up there. All right. So going to first Thessalonians four and 13, but I would not have you ignorant brethren concerning them, which are asleep that ye uh, sorrow, not even as others that have no hope for if we believe Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them, which sleep in Yahweh Shai will God bring with him for this. We say unto you by the word of the Lord that ye, that we, which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. They're going to be brought back in their own order. All right. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of an archangel, ar archangel and with the trump of God and the dead and Hamashiach shall rise first. 
all right so they're gonna already be on the chariot then we which are alive and remain because they're uh, the scriptures say uh it says come up hither there are those who are going to be beamed up shall be caught together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air all right so shall we ever be with the lord all right wherefore comfort one another with these words so the whole remnant the whole elect are going to be all right uh, uh some are going to be already up there when the lord pulls up all right on those chariots some are going to be beamed up okay because the scriptures tell you in revelation the 14th chapter revelation 14 and let's see here in 13 in this chapter speaks of the 144 which are the first fruits it says and i heard a voice from heaven saying unto me right blessed are the dead which die in the lord from henceforth all right and you also have the believers those who weren't actual disciples and prophets to go out and preach but they believed in their words it says yea said the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them how will their works follow them because they will be rewarded when Yahushai, all right uh, uh returns to destroy babylon the great and to glorify his elect that's when they will get their reward their works do follow them so if you were chosen from the foundation of the earth to be a prophet you know a priest or whatever you know ultimately on the right hand side of things then you will be rewarded for that when yahweh returns okay but those spirits won't be recreated in the beginning at the very end no it'll be those same spirits that were chosen getting their reward in those new bodies which paul talks about we will shed these bodies and receive new bodies okay now let me see this real quick i want to get this real quick and then i'll end it off i had a few other points but the point was made all right now going back um to the question all right the the, the someone said to him the most high is powerful enough to create new spirits like he did before and we agree with that all right but the spirits that we're talking about the ones that are going to reign with yahweh shai all right um oh man let's get that in revelation 20 <laughs> is it going to be new spirits or those who were already on the earth and went through things let's 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 see revelation 20 and 4 now this is speaking of the kingdom of heaven as yahweh shai told the disciples you're going to sit on thrones all right and judge all right he also told them you're going to sit at my table okay and and the table was uh reserved for the priest well we're going to be kings and priests we're going to loan things out to the heathen there's going to be a real order and government set up okay and that government is going to be those spirits that were chosen from the foundation of the earth for that purpose in the beginning the alahayim created the heaven and the earth okay now who are the alahayim the rulers the judges under yahawashai who the lord chose those will be the rulers of the new kingdom to come it won't be new spirits created those spirits will be glorified and receive their new bodies because the scriptures tell you we have uh, uh, bodies in heaven <laughs> but those bodies are now going to rule on earth this time around now this is revelation 20 and 4 okay and i saw uh thrones and they set up on them and judgment was given unto them and i saw the souls now now here's the cut right here and i saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of yahweh shai and for the word of god which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither had received his mark upon their forehead and their hands and they lived and reigned with hamashiach a thousand years this cuts you martyrs of yahweh shai because these are the real martyrs but guess what the ones who were beheaded and died for preaching this word and not taking the chip not bowing to the image of the beast they're going to live and reign with the messiah for a thousand years now this is the first resurrection this is the first dominion that first a thousand year period will be hamashiach and his men all right and that large multitude delivered 
All right. Uh, uh, but directly, Yahweh Shah and his men, the 144, ruling and implementing the law, statutes, and commandments worldwide. Okay. And the second death has no power over them because when Yahweh Shah returns, okay, the destruction that's going on on the earth, the remnant elect will be beamed up into the chariot, man. Okay. So this a thousand year period doesn't mean after this the kingdom of heaven is is is, is uh, over. No, this is just the beginning. That a thousand year period is what Yahweh Shai and those who died, okay, and were beheaded will you know, because some may not be beheaded. Some may just get beamed up, but some will be beheaded. But guess what? They're gonna get a reward and reign with Hamashiach. Okay, they're going to reign with him on the earth. As it says in Revelation, the fifth chapter, man. Okay. They're going to get a reward for not taking the chip, which you all say is a philosophy. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Basil, you. All right. For the word reign. Okay, and it says to be king, to exercise kingly power, to reign, all right, or the governor of a province, the rule of the Messiah, all right, to exercise the highest influence of control. We're going to be a government. Government means to control the mind, all right, govern, and then you have mente, all right, which I believe is a Latin word, which means the mind. So we're going to have the highest influence and we will pr promote the law, statutes and commandments out of Jerusalem. But right there, it tells you that it's going to be men who once died on the earth. All right. That are going to reign with Yahweh Shai. All right. But we're going to end it off here. So, yeah, the Lord can create new spirits, but he's going to use the same spirits that he chose from the beginning and bless them with the kingdom. OK, if there's other spirits created after that, then, hey. All right, but we, we already know that the spirits that were created and chosen from the foundation of the earth are going to be the very ones directly under Yahweh Shai receiving the kingdom. So we're going to use this scripture to prove a point here as well. Okay, um, because let's get the picture of these guys up. That these are the, this is them, you know. We're going to use this scripture here. Before we end it off to um, ultimately uh, cut the mindset that they're in to show you that it's a very ungodly mindset. OK, wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. All right. In the first verse, it says for the ungodly said reasoning with themselves, but not a right. Yeah, they're wrong. Our life is short and tedious. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. Neither is there any man known to have returned from the grave. All right. Now, these are those who deny Yahweh Shah's resurrection. But as we continue to go down, we're going to get more about their mindset. For we are born at all adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For in the breath in our nostrils is as a smoke and a little spark moving of our, of our heart. All right. Which being extinguished, our bodies shall turn into ashes. All right. And our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. Now, this right here is a problem. This is a mindset of the ungodly. They're just saying we die, turn into ashes. No, you die and return unto the earth. And you literally return unto the earth. You're <laughs> fertilizer, right? And the spirit vanishes as soft. No, the spirit returns unto the most high who gave it. Okay? And our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance. Well, the scripture says otherwise, though your name could be forgotten, you will be remembered by the heavenly father and you will pay. All right. For your works. All right. We uh, brought that out in the last video I did. Let's go to Jeremiah. The 18th chapter. OK. Because you have plenty of people who died well off and after they've done a whole bunch of wickedness, will, will they ever pay? All right. You have people who died. All right. Who really, really, you know, wanted the kingdom of heaven. OK, but how are they all going to get their reward? All right. Both righteous and wicked. Well, through the children, because you are your forefathers, you are your children. 
All right, but this is how it goes. Jeremiah 32 and 18. Jeremiah 32 and 18. Thou showest love kindness unto thousand and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty, the God, the Lord of hosts is his name. All right, so three or four generations down the line, okay, as we can read in Exodus 20, those spirits the iniquity of the father is rewarded into the bosom of their children after them because we are our forefathers we are even paying for the sins of our fathers that's in the book of lamentations all right um let's see here exodus 20 and 5 and thou shalt not bow thyself down to them nor serve them for I, Yahweh, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All right. These are those same spirits returning unto the earth. OK, going back to wisdom of Solomon. OK, it says, and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as the trace of a cloud. All right. <laughs> And shall be dispersed as a mist, meaning the spirit just disappears. And this is an ungodly mindset that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. All right. For our time um, is a very shadow that passes away. And after our end, there is no returning for it is fast sealed that no man cometh again. All right. Now, whose mindset is this? This is the ungodly reasoning with themselves, but not a right. So by default, you are ungodly men. You guys are ungodly men. All right. Now that we're living in grace, you have time to repent and stop being so proud. But we know you're not. And then when you look at the page, they got videos on, you know, how, you know, the marriage roles and all of these various different things. Look, we're not in those times, man. OK, ultimately, we're supposed to be prophesying and teaching our people what, what's to come. All right now in the kingdom, marriages and all of those various different things, partying, we're going to have all of that. All right. But we're not in the time to be focusing in on marriage and all of that stuff. But that's what you know, but that's, you know, you guys belly. OK, it's you guys belly, man. OK, and you wanted to uh, break off. All right. Because I remember you all because I believe you and uh, uh, Adam Abbott visited the apostles and elders. But then you started following Zabak. Now you broke off from them and broke broke off from everybody. Now you on your own, doing your own thing, teaching uh, 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 off doctrine, man. And to prove that spirits return, I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna leave it alone. And if, you know, if it comes back up, we, uh, you know, of course we're gonna defend the gospel. Okay. I had stuff in Job, but you know, the point was made. Um, this is Paul, right? First Timothy's one and 15. It says this. I know is that they which are in Asia be turned away from me, whom are of Phygelus and Hermo Hermogenes. All right. They left him. All right. Basically, when he was catching hell, you know, they, they stopped following him. Right. Now, watch this. It says the Lord. Give mercy unto the house of Onesiphorus, for he oft refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. Because when he start catching hell, getting in prison, you have people say, this is too much. You know, what if I lose my family? You know what? I'm not following Paul no more. But you had those who helped him in his afflictions and, and stayed faithful to him. All right. Now watch this. It says, but when he was in Rome, he sought me out very diligently and found me all right onisiphorus I mean, he was a good friend of paul while he was catching hell in rome right but watch what he says here the lord grant unto him that he may find mercy of the lord in that day wait a minute <laughs> what day what day 70 a.d no he's talking about when the lord returns that ultimately because the scriptures say you who gave uh, 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 the prophets a cup of water shall you receive the reward of a prophet's reward let me get that oh damn I missed it up. 
to lock you. <laughs> and we got so many points, man. But you know, hey, we'll you know we we just go um. I know it's in like Matthew the 25th chapter and we can go on and on and on man all right and that's through the spirit but uh this is uh Matthew 10 and 41 he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet should receive a prophet's reward you see because when the prophets when the when the men of the Lord are set up under Yahweh shine the kingdom of heaven that large multitude okay who are delivered they're gonna be set up directly under them blessed Okay, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. He that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's award. So those of you who help the prophets, you're going to get rewarded. Okay, when? In that day. Okay, ultimately. All right, now you're blessed on this side with things, but the, 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 the mercy is when Yahweh Shai returns, man. It says, and whosoever shall give drink unto these little ones, unto one of these little ones, a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. And the reward, okay, as Onesiphorus is prayed for by Paul, the reward is this, the Lord grant unto him that he may find mercy in that day. All right, now is it going to be a whole new spirit created and say, well, this is Onesiphorus. No, when he passed away, his spirit returned to the Heavenly Father and he returned to the earth. He returned to the earth, all right, until the very last time, man. All right, the very last time, man. Just like the Lord told Ezra, until the number of seeds is filled in you. All right, that final seed. And we believe this is it as far as us having to come onto the earth and prophesy and get belittled and. You know uh, uh, offer up this sacrifice this is it but what's next is the reward okay but how is Onesiphorus gonna find mercy in that day because he's gonna that spirit is gonna be either here raised up doing doing what he did back then helping the prophets or or whatever he's doing or he's in the spiritual realm right now and he's gonna be raised up first man so I just wanted to go through that man um, any questions ask on the comment board man Shalom